Hello everyone, welcome to Leeds Grid. Today we are going to discuss this LRDA set. Just read out the statement and try to solve the set. Now the statement given was, the following table shows the betting performance of the Australian cricket team in a match. Table 1 indicates the score of the team at the fall of each wicket from 1 to 10. This is the table 1. And the table 2 gives the runs scored by the 11 batsmen in the order in which they appeared in the batting line. This is the table 2. Now some additional information is also known. At any point there are two batsmen on the field till the fall of the 10th wicket. Whenever the team loses a wicket, the new batsman comes as per the batting order. Example, if one of the openers gets out, then the number 3 batsman takes the field. And the partnership between any two batsmen is the number of runs scored while both of them are batting. Now let's just make a table first. Now here is the table form. Now the first wicket fell at the score of 25. Now let's just mention it here. Now the run scored by Hayden is 28 and the run scored by Gilchrist is 7. Now if Hayden scored 28 runs then it means if the first wicket fell at the score of 25 then Hayden should not be that person. So it means Gilchrist out who out. So it means Gilchrist should be here. Gilchrist was out at the score of 7. And if Gilchrist scored 7 runs it means for the first wicket partnership Hayden scored 18 runs. Because the first wicket fell at the score of 25, so it means Hayden must have scored 18 runs and Gilchrist scored 7 runs. Now the second wicket fell at the score of 34. It means there is a difference of 9. Now Hayden needs to score 10 more runs before he get out. Because Hayden scored 28 runs, so he need to score 10 more runs. Now here the difference of runs is 9. It means Hayden cannot be that person who was out at the score of 34. It means Ponting should be that person. Now it means Ponting was out at 8 scores. Now if Ponting scored 8 runs and the difference of score was 9, so it means Hayden must have scored 1 run. So 18 plus 1 that will be equal to 19. Now third wicket fell at the score of 42. And the difference between the scores here is 42 minus 34 that is equal to 8. Now Hayden needs to score 9 more runs before he gets out. So it means the next wicket that fell will be of Simons. So Simons scored 4 runs. And if Simons scored 4 runs and the difference of score was 8. So it means Hayden must have scored the other 4 runs. So 19 plus 4 that will be equal to 23. Now the next wicket fell at the score of 57. Now the difference between the scores is 15. The next person who came to bat is Hussey. Now Hussey scored 20 runs and the difference between the scores here is 15. So it means Hayden must be the person who got out. So Hayden must have scored 5 more runs to reach his 28. So if 5 runs is scored by Hayden, then the other 10 runs will be scored by Hussey. Now Hussey scored the other 10 runs. Now the next wicket fell at the score of 62. It means difference of the score is 5. Now Hussey scored a total of 20 runs. So it means Hussey cannot be the person who get out at 62. So it means the next person should be Hodge. And Hodge scored 3 runs. And here the difference of runs is 5. So the other 2 runs will be scored by Hussey. So Hussey scored 2 runs here. 10 plus 2 that will be equal to 12. Now the next wicket fell at the score of 75. Now the difference between the scores here is 13 and Lee scores 18 runs which is the next batsman. Lee scored 18 runs. So it means Lee cannot be the person who got out at the score of 75 because he scores 18 runs and we require 13 runs here. So it means Hussey must have got out at the score of 75. So Hussey needs 8 more runs to get out. Now Hussey should have scored his 8 runs here. It means 12 plus 8 that will be equal to 20. Now 8 runs are already scored. We need to score 13 runs. So it means the other 5 runs will be scored by Lee. So Lee scored 5 runs. Now the next wicket fell at the score of 82. The difference between the scores is 7. Now Lee needs to score 18 runs. And here he already scored 5 runs. He required 13 more runs. And only 7 runs are present here. It means the other person should be out. That is Johnson. Johnson should be out at the score of 82. So Johnson should be present here. Johnson scored 5 runs. 
Now five runs are already scored and we need to score seven runs. So it means the other two runs will be scored by Lee. So five plus two that will be equal to seven. Now the next wicket fell at the score of 86. Also, Lee cannot be the person who fell at the score of 86 because Lee needs to score 18 runs. Until now he scored only seven runs. Here the difference of the score is four. So it means White should be the person who fell at the score of 86. And White scored zero runs. It means other four runs will be scored by Lee. So the Lee's score will be 11 here. Now the next wicket fell at the score of 99. Now the difference of the scores here is 13. Now here two conditions are possible. One is Lee already scored his 11 runs here. So it can be that like Lee scored 7 more runs. That is he reached his 18 and he got out. And Clark scored the other 6 runs. This is the one scenario possible. Or here Clark scored his 11 runs and the other 2 runs were scored by Lee. So it means 11 plus 2 that will be equal to 13. Now both the cases are possible. And same for 10th, there will be 2 cases possible depending upon whichever the person got out here. That is either Lee or Clark. So let's move to the questions, then we'll get back to it. Now the first question was how many batsmen lost their wicket between Hayden's and Hussey's dismissal? Hayden dismissed here, Hussey dismissed here. It means there was one person between both of them. So our answer to this question will be B part. Now the next question was how many runs were scored by the batsman who was the ninth to be dismissed. Now here it can be Lee or it can be Clark. So our answer to this question will be CVD. We don't know the exact value. There are two values possible. Now the next question was what was the percentage contribution to the second highest partnership of the batsman to be dismissed first in that partnership. Now the first highest partnership was of 25 runs that is the first figure partnership. And the second biggest partnership was this fourth wicket partnership that is of 15 runs. Now for the 15 runs, Hayden got out first. Hayden got out first for the fourth wicket partnership. And he scored 23 to 28. It means he scored 5 runs in this partnership. And the total partnership was of 15 runs. So 5 out of 15 into 100 that will be equal to 33.33%. So our answer to this question will be first part. Now the Australian total comprised only singles and fours. The number of fours scored cannot exceed. Now let's get back to the table first. Now here seven runs were scored by Gilchrist. It means maximum of one and Hayden scored 18 runs. It means maximum of four fours can be there. So it will be four. It means a total of five fours present here. Now here Ponting scored eight runs. So it means two fours. And Hayden scored only one run, so it means no force. Now check for Simon. Simon scored four runs, it means at most one four can be there. And Hayden scored four runs, so it means one four can also be there. So total of two fours. Now Hayden scored here 23 to 28, it means five runs. One four can be there. And Hussey scored ten runs, it means two fours can be there. It means value of three is there. Now Hodge scored three runs. No 4 can be there. Hussey scored 2 runs. So it means no 4 can be there. So it means the value here is 0. Now Hussey scored 8 runs here. 12 to 20. He reached 12 to 20. So it means 8 runs were scored. So it means a maximum of 2 4s can be there. And Lee scored 5 runs. It means a maximum of 1 4 can be there. So total 4s will be 3. Now check for Johnson. Johnson scored 5 runs here. So it means 1 4 can be there. And Lee scored only 2 runs, so it means no 4 can be there, so it means a total of 1 4 will be there. Now White scored 0 runs, 0 4s. Lee scored 4 runs here, 7 to 11, so it means 1 4 can be there. Now check for the 9th wicket. Now if Lee was the person who got out at the 9th position, then the number of 4s can be 11 to 18, that means the difference of 7, it means 1 4 can be there, 1 4 can be there. And if the wicket of Lee fell here, then the score of Clark was 6. So it means also 1, 4 can be present here. So it means a total of 2, 4s can be there. Now if 9th wicket to be fell was of Clark. So it means 11 runs. It means 2, 4s can be scored. And Lee scored 11 to 13. So it means the difference of 2 was there. So it means no 4 should be there. 
so it means two foods should be present here it means either in either of the cases for lee and clark the number of foods can be two now check for the 10th wicket partnership now if lee's wicket fell down at 18 and clark scored six runs here then it means clark will either score five runs here or five runs here similarly for williams williams will be present here at this point or at this point he needs to score six runs now six runs so one score can oh, so one four can be scored and for five runs also one four can be scored so it means two fours will be there and check for the case of clark if clark got out at the four of 99 then lee will score 13 runs here and lee needs to score five more runs so it means lee should be present at this point or at this point same for williams william will, will be at this point or at this point or it means maximum of two fours can be scored at the 10th point also now add all the values it will be 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 2 14 plus 16 plus 5 21 so our answer to this question will be 21 that is c part i hope you understood the concept for these types of questions for more such videos like share and subscribe our youtube channel thanks and happy learning